A billion dollar industry is almost at a complete stop right now because of the pandemic. We're talking about shrimp companies in our region. They are struggling to stay afloat since a lot of the restaurants who buy their supplies are closed. And while they've been able to receive federal aid, it just doesn't make up for the lack of sales. WDSU Sherman DeSell spent time with one company owner and has more on this tonight. Sherman, what did he have to say? Yeah, good evening. As the economy comes to a standstill, so have a lot of the shrimp boats and the shrimp distributors. Now, earlier today, the USDA pumped $30 million into their industry to help with emergency food aid across the country. But one distributor says it's not going to be enough. The only way for these guys out here to survive is uh, stability. Craig Napoli is the owner of ANC Seafood. He says his distribution business has been almost at a standstill since March. Smaller shrimp were going for 35 cents a pound. Larger shrimp were, you know, dollar twenty-five, dollar thirty a pound for 1620s to, you know, 1015s, which is a dollar, you know, a dollar and a half below where it should be. White shrimp season is happening soon, and that could be in jeopardy due to many restaurants being shut down, including his own. My restaurant's on Decatur Street. It's a white tablecloth restaurant, so I really can't see it coming back right away. He has been able to receive federal funds for his businesses, but the amount of assistance doesn't make up for the loss of revenue. He says one of the key problems is the amount of U.S. seafood that actually makes it to businesses. We should be just digging into our own backyard for all of our seafood products just makes stability for the fishermen. He's currently distributing crab and just received permission for oysters. He hopes it's enough to make it through the fiscal year. I'm hoping that this hurricane season is not what they predict, actually. Um, but all in all, uh, the business, the crab business is, uh, is pretty good. He's definitely trying to stay positive. Now, to give you a better idea of how much this industry is impacted, state officials say 80% of the seafood that we eat across our country is imported. So this pandemic is definitely crippling the 20% that's left from here in our American waters. Reporting from Lakefront, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.